A friend of mine believes in conspiracy theories and he thinks Bitcoin is on the side of banks and evil elites. What can I say? Well, <laughs> you should block this friend, okay? Here's the thing. One of the advantages we have with awkward family conversations is that it's mostly family. And, and the disadvantage, of course, is that you can't block family, at least not close family and not long term. Maybe you can block them for a weekend, but it's generally bad form. And if you block your Uncle Joe after Christmas dinner, mom's going to get upset and uh, they're going to tell you sob stories about how good your Uncle Joe was when he took you for ice cream when you were kid, all of that. So. The advantage, on the other hand, of having friends is that friends can be unfriended. And I'm not talking just in Facebook, I'm talking about in real life. The mistake you might make is to try to persuade someone who lacks the ability to string together two cogent thoughts, who lacks the ability to critically evaluate information, who sees patterns where patterns do not exist. Don't make the mistake of trying to have a reasoned conversation with a person like that. You will get dumber by having this conversation. Let me give you an example. When I advertised this particular live stream with my cute little uh, thumbnail, somebody on Twitter pointed out that in the thumbnail, what I am doing is a gesture that implies the Illuminati. Observe. Now, I would call that a facepalm. And in fact, I was doing a face palm. And as any geek knows, uh, one of the most famous face palms ever is Jean-Luc Picard in The Next Generation Enterprise, who is a master of face palming, an absolute master of face palming. It is a great gesture and expression that is appreciated by sarcastic geeks everywhere. And that's what it is. Let's take, let's take a look one more time. Face palm. It's a face palm. But no, I got a stream of tweets about various celebrities captured making a similar gesture, all of which clearly, clearly to this person meant the Illuminati. There's no having, th that is an awkward conversation in itself. It's an awkward conversation. And the trick there, if you have someone who is bringing an awkward conversation to the table, what you do, is you escalate. You escalate. Don't back down. Don't try to use facts. None of that's going to work. Just escalate. This is also known as um, street level epistemology. What you do is you try to probe how far they are willing to go with these conspiracy theories. Bitcoin is on the side of the banks and the evil elites. But did you know that Bitcoin is actually embedded in the lipid nanoparticle coating of the mRNA vaccine made by Pfizer that will be administered personally by Bill Gates. Inside that lipid coating is also one sperm from Bill Gates himself, cultured by nanorobots on Mars under Elon Musk's supervision, that will impregnate your brain and allow 5G radio signals to transmit COVID to you in real time from black helicopters because these 5G signals can travel an infinity because there is no curvature on the Earth because it is flat. You think you brought crazy to the holiday conversation, friend? I'm gonna out crazy you even more. And then watch them backpedal. I hope you had a lot of fun with this completely pointless, learning free rant of a live stream that will prepare you for the absurd, the comical, the ridiculous, the uninformed, the ignorant, the vaguely racist, but I can't quite put my finger on why conversations you're going to be having at dinner time with your family and extended family and friends during this holiday season, which of course you'll do over Zoom because you're not an irrational, irresponsible sociopath who is trying to kill all of your family with the plague.
Hi, thanks for watching the video. I'm Andreas Antonopoulos. I'm the author of Mastering Bitcoin, Mastering Ethereum, and the Internet of Money series. If you'd like to support my mission of bringing education about Bitcoin and open blockchains to as many people as possible under open, free Creative Commons licenses, please consider subscribing to my channel and supporting me on patreon.com slash A-A-N-T-O-N-O-P. Thank you.